Okay. This time I got the settings right. This time it's syncing to this the screen. I have this Govi Immersion Kit 2.0 on a 50 inch television. I leave it sync now, or, or leave it show the video now, and then I'll show you how I have, have it set up on a 50 inch television because this kit is made for 50, 55 to 65 inch televisions. I had to be a little bit creative to get it to fit on my, the back of my 50 inch television. It works okay. There's, it's much improved to what it was when it came out first. They updated the firmware for the camera and set it, they added it, another setting to the brightness for the for the camera, so it detects the colors a little bit better. It's still not, as you can probably see, it's a little bit jumpy now. So it wasn't much smoother when it came out first, but it's a bit jumpy. It's still not as good as, as the amb Philips Ambilight I used to have on my Philips television, but that television just gave up. See, this is what I done with the kit. I kinked it up there in the middle, halfway up the side. And I done the same up here behind the camera. I kinked the light to get it to fit along the top. And I done the same down the bottom. I kinked it. I won't be able to show you because it's up against the wall nearly. But I kinked it in the middle, down the bottom as well, and up the side. And that's how I got it to fit this. It, as you can probably see, it's not. It's after kind of kinking a bit too much, but it still works. I don't know why the companies don't make it for smaller televisions, because they all they all seem to be making it for the. 55 to 65 inch televisions and over. Sorry for that. Um, I'll put this on play again for a few, few for a bit. Did it? It's as if people don't buy the smaller televisions anymore, which isn't true. But uh, I did buy two other kits. Uh, the is now one. It was rubbish. I dumped that thing because. I wouldn't even give it to my worst enemy. And I bought another kit that I'm sending back to Amazon because I just had a, I had it set up. I got the strip to the, to the link to the television and I, I set it up, went to turn it on, set the app to adjust the lights and some of the lights wouldn't change colour, they were just stayed in white. So I have to send that back and get a refund. But now I have the Light Me, Fa the Light Me Fantasy kit coming and I hope I'll be able to get creative and set it up on the back of that television. And then I'll post a video of that syncing the lights on the television. I won't be getting the Light Me Fantasy 3 kit because Hopefully by the end of this year, I'll be getting a Philips, another Philips Ambulight television, and hope that lasts for more than three, thirteen months. But anyway, this isn't really a review; it's just me waffling on, showing you the the uh, Govi Immersion Two Point Zero kit. I had it on another television, but what was happening on the other television was. It was showing blue on the right hand side and red on that side and it wasn't syncing any colours to the television at all. So then I got the Philips Ambilight television which was brilliant. 
and then 13 months after I bought that the screen just stopped working so I had to I had to, uh, uh, it was a week before Christmas 2022 which is only a few months ago and uh, I had to go off and buy a new television now the money I was saving for something else something important so um, now I have this LG TV and I don't like LG TVs. Web OS is just not nice. I wish I wish LG would make televisions with Android OS. Anyway, that's me. Enough waffling. I will end the video here and uh, maybe in a week or two, uh, hopefully, I'll upload a video with the uh, uh, the light me fantasy kit on the television hopefully if it works until now until then please subscribe i will keep uploading videos it'll be probably be random for every few weeks or maybe uh, every few months but i'll upload as soon as i have something that i think is interesting to upload until then, have fun and take care.